Dear students, in this video, we are going to see about what is overdrive transmission and how it works. Overdrive is a device interposed between uh, the transmission and the propeller shaft to permit the propeller shaft to turn faster than the transmission main shaft. It is the highest gear in the transmission. The overdrive permits the engine to operate only about 70% of the propeller shaft speed when the vehicle is operating in the high speed ranges which in turn extends the engine life, improves the fuel consumption and reduces vibration and noises. The overdrive is essentially suited to high powered cars employing three speed gearboxes since in order to produce flexible top gear performance, a low gear uh, final drive may be necessary resulting in the device, uh, vehicles, engine running faster at high speeds than it is desired. Generally, an overdrive is fitted to top gear only but some sports cars have overdrive on second, third and top gear giving uh, 7 forward speeds. Overdrive is usually employed to supplement conventional transmission. Okay, let us see the construction of overdrive mechanism. So it, it is, uh, it consists of a set of uh, planetary gears. So this is uh, this one, this two and uh, behind this uh, lock up teeth of uh, sun gear, another planet gear will be there. So a set of uh, planetary gears, a solenoid and a pole arrangement for locking the sun gear, a rail and a fork assembly. Uh, so this is the rail and fork assembly linked to the dash control knob for disconnecting the overdrive when not in use and uh, a free wheel assembly or overrunning uh, clutch that drives the main shaft below the cutting speed. The planetary gears are used, uh, these planetary gears are provided to increase uh, speed by arranging to have the ring gears uh, driven by uh, the planet pinion gauge. So this is the planet uh, pinion gauge, so this one, when the sun gear is locked by this uh, pollen ratch mechanism. Thus uh, the increase in speed of the main shaft, the power available to drive the wheel decreases. So the overdrive ratio can be used only when the engine is running fast enough to generate enough torque to offset this handicap. The maximum speed at which the engine can do this is called cutting speed. So below this speed, the drive uh, is made direct by unlocking the sun gear. The ring gear is uh, splined. So the uh, ring gear uh, are provided here is splined to the outer case of the freewheel assembly which is a part of uh, overdrive mechanism or overdrive main shaft. So this is the overdrive main shaft. When uh, the pole is uh, not engaged in the gear plate, the sun gear is unlocked uh, and the planetary gears cannot transmit power. Then the unit is in direct drive. In this case, the power flows from the transmission main shaft to the freewheel assembly and then to the overdrive main shaft. So this is the construction and uh, now uh, we'll see the operation, overdrive operation. So if the driver wants to go in the overdrive when the car is traveling about a predetermined cutting speed, uh, usually uh, 35 to 55 km per hour, momentarily releases the accelerator pedal. If the driver wants to come out of the overdrive, he merely pushes the accelerator pedal past the full throttle position. The driver wants to lock out of the overdrive. He pulls a control knob on the call rush. So this is the uh, operation. And uh, most probably this question will be asked in 13 marks in Anna University examinations. So in that case, you have to draw the two dimensional drawing of overdrive mechanism uh, because practically it is not possible to draw this uh, uh, three dimensional view. So go with the two dimensional uh, drawing provided in your textbook. So I provided this uh, three dimensional drawing only for understanding purpose. So if it is asked in a 13 mocks, you have to draw this uh, diagram and you have to write the construction working. Uh, that is the operation of overdrive mechanism. Prepare well. Thank you. So this question is most important thing. Uh, thank you.